guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another grocery haul. It has been a minute since I have uploaded and I'm really sorry about that. We're affected by Hurricane Ian. Um, not as bad as the west side of Florida. Not anywhere in comparison to that. Um, but, and we didn't have any major damage to our house, which was such a blessing. Um, one of my friends had a tree fall in their house, so if you will just be in prayer for them and that um, as they go about the journey of dealing with insurance and making claims and all that, that it just goes as smoothly as it possibly can and things just are, it's an easy process because I know that is no fun to deal with. We didn't have any major damage. We did lose power and we didn't have power for five days. So it was not a very long time compared to past hurricanes when people were or without power for weeks, so I'm very grateful for that. But it was kind of a long five days without power, and um, it was it was scary. But we made it through, and it was not nearly as like I said, not nearly as bad as the west side of Florida. Um, but that was our first hurricane here. We actually moved to Florida. If you know anything about hurricanes or keep up with them, Hurricane Dorian came in 2019. Uh, in September and we actually moved here the weekend after that. So this was our first one um, and we made it by the grace of God. So I'm very grateful for that and I'm glad to be back uh, filming and uploading for you guys. Um, I didn't really film any of it while we were going through it because again we didn't have power so I wanted to save my battery as much as I could because I didn't know when uh, we'd be getting it restored. So Anyways, with all of that being said, we are safe and I'm very grateful. Um, our side of Florida did not, again, did not get hit as bad as the West, but we still did get affected and um, we could definitely use all of your prayers. And if you are able to help in any way, um, I know us Floridians would just be so grateful for that because there is a lot of damage that was done. A lot of houses here in our area that were flooded really bad. Some people lost their homes, their vehicles. Um, so if you can't, um, you know, physically do something, even if you could donate to the Red Cross or something. And um, this is just the time for God's people to show up and to show that, um, we put action behind our words and to do something and to give and to serve. And so um, if you are able to do that in any way, whatever that looks like for you, I just really would encourage you to do that, whether it's for the east side of Florida or the west side or whatever, um, I know that it would make such an impact. Just wanted to give you guys that update. Um, but yeah, like I said, we are fine. We finally have power back. It was weird um, not having it. <clears throat> And obviously and then when we got it back it was weird having it because we were so used to not having it so like when I'd walk into a room or uh to the bathroom I was like oh yeah I can turn on the light switch and I'd turn it on and um and so anyway so this is kind of a bigger haul because we were without power we did not have a generator um all of our food in our fridge went bad so we had to pretty much restock everything and God is so good and has been so faithful to us because um, my my boss at church, she asked me if I could come in today and work on some things and um, she had something for me. So I was like, okay. And um, I honestly thought it might have been something for my birthday because my birthday is next Friday, October 14th. And um, so I thought it was something for my birthday. And then I walked in and she handed me this little box and I opened it and it was two, not one, but two gift cards with money on it. And she said for us, it was from our whole team and for us to go buy uh, groceries and to fill our fridge and our pantry. And it was, it was, and it is such a blessing um, to us to just be surrounded by people and that um, they're just such a giving, church and a giving community and I'm just so grateful for them and ways that people have just shown up and um, just really shown um, who God was and who God is and just to be the hands and feet of him so if you can somehow pay it forward and, and show someone then um, it I know it would just leave a lasting positive impact on their lives but anyways 
I'm done with my long spiel. Let's get right into this huge Walmart haul. All right, so here's everything in um, just an over glance of everything that we got. Um, so again, starting here left to right. A lot of this is just staple stuff we typically get, but again, some stuff we needed. Uh, some baby spinach, we got that. Some carrots for us and the babies. Three bags of broccoli. Um, we love to have these with our meals. And it's just so crazy, you guys, to have power and to uh, be able to cook meals again because we've eaten out so much. I don't ever want to eat out again. <laughs> but um, I'm so excited to finally have a home-cooked meal. Um, so, anyways, moving on. Just some vanilla Greek yogurt. And we literally said, let's get strawberries. And we both thought each other got it. So then when we checked out and saw neither of us got it, it was like, oh. So, I'll have to go back and get strawberries because we didn't. Anyways, so that, um, we got some mushrooms just to have one night with uh, either spaghetti or maybe put them on the grill. Not for sure. And then we just got some unsalted butter and just some soup to keep on hand. We both got chicken pot pie. Um, and then this, again, just as a pantry, not a pantry staple, but just something to keep in the pantry for an easy night, which is chicken fried rice. And then back here, just some paper plates. And I will say that during the power outage and all of that, um, it was nice not doing dishes. <laughs> that is, I did not miss doing that. There was barely ever any dishes in the sink, which was a plus. Um, then we just got some bacon. We definitely have missed having that. Then we got some more crescent rolls. And it was funny because when we were at Walmart today, I told Dylan, I was like, oh, you don't need to get two. Uh, just get one because we have one in the fridge. And he turned and looked at me and he was like, Shelby, our fridge is empty. And I was like, oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> um, and then we just got one can of diced tomatoes because I was pretty sure we still had some. So I just got one. And then this is a snacky item that Dylan grabbed, which I'm not mad about. Um, some double stuffed Oreos. And then Dylan likes these specifically, these Triscuits with the roasted tomato and olive oil. Um, he likes to eat those with his tuna packets. So we got him some of those. And then he wanted this specific cereal, a Fruit Loop. So we got him that. And this is his favorite ramen. Um, this black one. Um, this one, there's this one, and then there's also one that looks just like this, except uh, this part is red, not black. And this one is a little bit spicier, I believe, is the reason Dylan likes this one more. But they're both equally good. And they're not with the ramen noodles um, at our Walmart. They're with, like, the taco seasoning. And then, again, lost everything in our fridge, so we just had to get some more ketchup. Dylan wanted this chimichurri marinade, Heinz 57, and barbecue. Um, and, oh, we should have got ranch. I just thought about that. But, um... I think it's just going to kind of take a minute to realize, like, what we don't have. You know, we have to go reach for it. You know what I'm saying? So, anyways, I'm sure there will be more trips of just random stuff um, that we forgot. Next, some cheese, some sliced Colby Jack, and Fiesta Blend. Dylan wanted mild, but they were out. He doesn't really love medium, um, so they didn't have it. So, we got this one. And then we got some... Semi-sweet chocolate chips. I just like having these on hand to add to if I make banana bread or cookies or whatever. Just keep those on hand and they were we were all out. And I had to throw out my cream cheese. I was really sad about that. So we had to get some more of that and get some more sour cream. And more pumpkin for the babies because I've been putting it... Once I open it, I keep it in the fridge for them. Um, and I put it in mason jars and it was just not good. So I just bought a huge thing of that for them. And then I got some of my energy drinks. I got three mimosa and one watermelon wave from Alani. And then the other thing that I got was this. They just recently came out with uh, coffee. And I got this from my friend Rachel. Um, this is the vanilla one. They had this one, mocha. Um, uh, gosh, I can't even remember all four flavors. But this is the one that she wanted. So I grabbed that for her to try. Then we just got some more milk. Which, thankfully, 
Uh, we drank all of our milk before the power went out because we knew that if it went out and our fridge stopped being cold, the milk was just going to be really gross. So we we chugged ours. <laughs> um, and then we just got some waffles because, again, ours went bad. Some French uh, vanilla creamer for Dylan. And then we got this for primarily for the babies uh, just because sometimes at dinner time we sprinkle a little bit on top of their um, – dinner as like a little treat and then this was i just needed a restock of um a face wash so i got this one and this one works just as good as the name brand um, but this one is cheaper and then we just got a one pack of chicken because that's all they had and it was you guys look at that look at that 2.94 16 dollars i almost lost it. I, I just couldn't believe it. But anyways, this is everything that we got from Walmart. All right, you guys, that is everything that we got from Walmart. And you might wonder, you know, where's our other meat? Like we didn't get very much chicken. We didn't get any ground beef. And that is because the family that I used to babysit for, they invited us over for dinner the other night to have a nice home cooked meal, which was so nice because we are so tired of eating peanut butter sandwiches and fast food. Um, so she, invi she invited us over for dinner and we had a really nice meal and her and her husband brought, um, gave us a cooler full of meat and we got roast and we got, um, uh, she gave us chicken legs and ground beef and ribs and steak. And I'll take an overshot here and show you our fridge and just how full it is for everything. But um, it's just been really cool to see God's people just coming together. And, um, even though we're all going through the same thing, just loving on each other and, um, just really showing who God is during this time. And, um, it's just, it's been a really cool opportunity to be a part of, even in the mess and even in the disaster, God's people are still showing up and showing the love of Christ, which is amazing. Anyways, I'm not going to go down a whole rabbit hole of talking again. I, already did all of that at the beginning but yes the the grocery haul this is everything that um we were blessed to get and this was completely all 100 percent paid for uh from the people at my church and my on my team they um they paid for all of this it was 125 dollars and that was uh, the amount that they gave us and it was just incredible and i'm just so um blessed and just thankful to be such to be a part of such an amazing church and surrounded by amazing people and I just pray that um you have those people in your life too and if not then um I just pray that you know they that God reveals them to you and shows them and brings them into your life because it is incredible to have a group of people that just um surround you with love when you're going through something and and then you get to return the favor to them um it's just an incredible um, an incredible feeling and God is so good and so faithful but anyways I'm done I promise um, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video I miss you guys I miss filming um, so I'm happy to be back I hope that you enjoyed my multi-store haul before this one that one was filmed pre-hurricane so that's why I didn't mention it in that video or anything like that so that's just a disclaimer but anyways if you guys are new please consider subscribing and becoming a part of the family and I will see you guys in my next one bye